so my name is Samhua Swankem. I'm professor of human and medical genetics at UCT. I work in the Department of Medical Genetics in the Faculty of Health Sciences, uh, Department of Medicine. When I started my training in medical genetics, it was important for me to quickly have a research niche. And sickle cell disease was an obvious choice. This is a disease that is eminently African because 80% of the children that are born with this condition are born in Africa. This is a condition that evolved in Africa about uh, 10,000 years ago. Uh, the first mutation was in a first uh, person in Africa. This is the most common monogenic condition of humankind. This is a condition for which there have been a very, very few investment in research and care, and for which even up to today, it is estimated that 50% of children that are born in Africa with the condition without treatment will not see their fifth birthday. So it was obvious that as an African geneticist and one of the rare doing genetics, I had to focus on the most impactful condition that may make a difference in Africa. He focuses on uh, conditions that are actually neglected and affect mostly uh, African populations. For example, his work on sickle cell disease. And in most of the um, mortality that you find across the world, the most affected populations are African populations. The impact of having uh, been the winner of Allen Pfeiffer, first of all, is being part of a very prestigious group of researchers within UCT that over the past decade have been recognized for their research work. And being part of that uh, privileged group should give visibility of our work. We do our work with public funding, so it's important that we give back by showing what we found and Allen Pfeiffer put a light on what we found. Every award that we won really is a, is a pleasure and is a privilege. But it's important to say it's not my work alone. It is the recognition of the work of many, many people. It's the recognition of many years of work, starting with our mentor uh, that provides us the capacity of doing this work, with our students that actually participate to the research, and the patient participant that offer a drop of blood to allow us to work, and also the collaborators. So it's actually I'm, a, I'm only the messenger. It's actually the work of many, many people. And if this work is recognized, it makes us a very, very feel privileged to have contributed to something. And as the price say, to the welfare of African most disadvantaged people. He is now one of the global figures in terms of genomics. He teaches us that you can really start humbly, but persevere, you'll be recognized. <laughs>